Yo, yo, what is going on guys? Robski back with another NBA Live mobile video. And this time I'm bringing you a voiceover because once again I fail at video capturing uh, the gameplay through the device. Uh, my voice got messed up, but this one is a huge one. Big shout out to Brian and the EA Game Changers Network. I'm actually bringing you guys the Lake Show, LeBron James. You can see it there. Uh, I'm using them right now on the squad absolute beast stats uh 104 3.110 dunk uh we got 109 scoring with contact look at the extra boost there 110 dribbling absolutely insane as you can see i was trying to check there um make sure everything was on didn't notice even though you see it pressed on there that like i didn't have the microphone turned on so i was legit talking uh during that and then we got anthony davis as you can see right there so uh, these guys are definitely a lot tougher to get mainly because the Lake Show program is one where you have to spend money on similar to that of the Miami I believe it was Miami Knights or Miami Vice one of those um, the event with Dwayne Wade and everything where a lot of people are going for it but uh, just showing you some gameplay on here LeBron James does have three point clutch which I do activate right at the start because you can get a second one uh, pretty early on in the game uh so usually you can knock out two clutches with lebron and then anthony davis has in the paint which i rarely use just because a lot of my players on my main squad actually have clutch already so i'm using the and that was a really really bad shot by anthony davis there uh but we get a nice little layup by Kawhi. so i, I am using the 110 uh mvp Kawhi, who also has a clutch ability that um does start at the beginning of the game and a combo between lebron and Kawhi is actually dangerous because it's an easy with two possessions it's an easy and then we go we're gonna go right here i don't know how we phased through that guy but lebron goes up for the dunk 115 dunk right there um you get two clutches an easy six points in two possessions uh when you have the combination of Kawhi and lebron I'm trying to remember what other players had uh, three-point clutches that you were able to kind of activate twice or, you know, once or not. Well, I actually get ridiculously blocked on that shot there. Uh, yeah, that was, that was a pretty bad uh, shot taken there. But, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty beast squad. Uh, LeBron also plays really, really well. If I had to choose between uh lebron and anthony davis it would have to be lebron for me anthony davis does play all right but he's i mean he's good on the he's good in the paint he's a good person to kind of go one-on-one -on -one with uh spin move and just kind of get into to the bucket like into the lanes he's good but i actually did enjoy uh hakeem olajuwon a lot more as the center just feel Hakeem went up for more rebounds than Anthony Davis was. Uh, AD was pretty much non-existent when it came to uh, rebounds. You can see him there, but Larry Bird pretty much got a majority of my... So right here, we're going to activate LeBron James's uh, second clutch. And you can see we still got 45 seconds left, which we are able to get another Kawhi clutch and also a Larry Bird clutch, which is insane just having a whole team full of clutches i also am using um jerry west who has the buzzer beater ability from the last promo that was out um so that's an insane uh combo there because there we go so we're gonna activate larry birds and i get blocked by yao ming i i just remembered this gameplay ridiculous uh but yeah it, timing it right you'll be able to do it i was taking this game a little bit serious so i was kind of making sure i use everybody um and then i don't know if I'm, yeah so anthony davis really really good player but i would choose lebron if you're able to snipe him on the auction house he's actually a really good uh choice the only thing i wish hakeem olajuwon had was an ability he does get i believe scoring with contact uh boost but yeah i mean he does enough defensive rebounding for me to well any any type of rebounding to be honest and we ended up winning that 14-8 uh, but he does get a lot of rebounds, and he was always in the paint, making sure he would pick up and go up to get every ball. I just don't feel Anthony Davis does that for me while I was using him in the game. Uh, yeah, it, 
he was good overall. Like he he had really good mid range shots. He was really good at, at dunking. He was uh, scoring and everything like that. So uh, yeah, I mean it's it's. It's a tough decision, but remember, these players are either you're going to snipe them from the auction house or you're actually going to, you know, spend the money in the game and get these late show points. Um, it does take a little while and it does take a lot of cash to do it, like actual real money. Uh, so we get paired up with a 106, which is kind of not fair. I've actually been getting paired up uh, with 109s after the recent update. It was like 109s, 108s, and whatnot. So I am enjoying the gameplay a little bit more because I am getting tested. I feel like uh, even when I was going out, I went up against, oh, I'm a 110. I went up against a 101. And honestly, on a hit, like I, I beat the guy 24 to 2. And yet on his end, so we're going to go up again with LeBron. Oh. It's always scary when you go up against that Yao Ming because he just he can just jump up and anything can just get blocked. Um, but yeah, but we went up against a 101, and on his uh, on his drive, he pretty much it was like a really close game. I was like, I don't know how he was doing it, but yeah, it, it's insane to kind of go up against uh, other players on there, especially lower level like that. But yeah, we go we got the block there. Who was that block? Was it Jerry West? I believe it was Jerry West on the block. And then we got... Alright, so we, I'm controlling Anthony Davis. Hoping he would actually be in the paint to try to pick up a basket. But then we're going to go with LeBron. He's going to... Do I try to step... Yeah, there we go. Step back. Missed it. Mid-range. And then we're going to go up with AD for the dunk. 108 dunk. So... You would think for a center, he would have uh, a little bit more of a higher stat for dunk. LeBron, even after the boost, uh, comes up with a 115 dunk. And AD is just at a 10 something. So it's a little disappointing to see. Uh, I believe I try to shoot this one with LeBron. Yeah, that side with LeBron was giving me a lot of issues. Uh, his shots just weren't going in. I'm not sure if it was something that was a horrible miss from Larry Bird luckily that doesn't go in Kawhi Leonard gets the block right there and then Larry Bird gets the ball back we got Jerry West on there all right so we're gonna activate uh, Kawhi's three-pointer make sure that goes in um, so yeah so it's like LeBron James is gonna be the the way to go if you can snipe him he's definitely gonna gonna be it but yeah Hakeem Olajuwon there are a lot of good centers now hopefully you guys got one of the Yao Mings um, from that set, either the Yao Ming or the Shaq. Those two cards, they, I believe the Yao Ming actually was worth a lot more to get. Uh, I believe he improved a lot of people's lineups. I don't think Shaq did as much, only if you had him as a center. But I believe Shaq as pretty much any type of position was worth it. I mean, uh, Yao was worth it. Yao point guard was ridiculous. Yao center is ridiculous so if you got those definitely you don't need anthony davis uh but a point guard lebron james is definitely something to go after i was using the under armor steph curry for quite a while i just don't feel like any other point guard that was released at the time was was even close um so yeah that, that just makes you know but now that he has the clutch and he has those insane stats and he's the you know 109 or 110 whatever the, the the stat was on him there it makes it a much more valuable card and it's definitely going to be one to go after and want to be the ones to, to be sought after uh so we're gonna all right so jerry west actually been picking up a lot of rebounds for me so i got anthony davis am i gonna go in to activate am i gonna do it am i gonna do it there we go so we activate in the paint with just two seconds left i should have gave the ball does he make that in now, I should have given the ball there at that point in time to Jerry West because he did have his buzzer beater. But I wanted to see how I was able to escape different opponents, uh, trying to go, you know, side to side with Anthony Davis, see how his movement was. Like I said, movement is really, really good. I enjoy him in that aspect, but I honestly have too many players that I, I could just score with. I was looking for someone a little bit more defensive, and especially for Anthony Davis to have the uh defensive badge it's like uh, you know i was hoping a little bit more defense from him hakeem olajuwon plays a lot more defense 
and yeah so you can see a lot of people are using Hakeem and he said he to me personally he was just a better overall center he uh, I believe he had a higher dunk stat I don't I don't think he was as fast but he definitely played a lot more defense he was in the paint to try to get uh more rebounds and so forth and I already have shooters I already have I mean just Kawhi LeBron and Larry Bird alone were just ridiculous like Jerry West is honestly in there for some steals for speed and the buzzer beater even though he does pull up uh, some really really good plays some defensive plays at that I my triple threat right now is Kawhi LeBron and Larry Bird it's just an absolute threat between those three and then if my overall didn't go down I would honestly stick with Hakeem Olajuwon over Anthony Davis so yeah let me know in the comments who you guys are going for uh, there are there is another promo going on at the same time of this and I'll do a video on that it's already a little later um, from that but that had uh, what was it that had three players three masters um, that were in it and I'm gonna do a gameplay discussing uh, who to choose out of the three because I do believe there's only one really good player uh, from those three so yeah as you if you guys are going for any of those players let me know also and then I'm gonna do a gameplay with all three on the team as well as the new record breaker player which was Kevin Garnett um, so I don't know if I'll do Kevin Garnett by himself just sort of do like a quick three match showdown just with this one and actually have my mic on and talk and not have to improvise uh like i'm doing right now uh which is probably the worst thing because talking over a recording has to be one of the hardest things to do and yeah so i'm gonna do a gameplay on the kevin garnett as well as the three players for the around the world campaign um if you guys are doing that one let me know who you're going for I believe I'm trying to remember the three players. I know it's one is Jason Tatum and the other one is Pau Gasol, but I'm actually going blank on the third player at the moment. Uh, but I believe Jason Tatum is probably the best player to go for in that promo. Uh, I've used Pau Gasol in Showdown um, when it asked for you know put in an around the world player and you get 75%. Just wasn't that good on the team. I was just ending up having to use everyone, but sacrificing Larry Bird for Pau Gasol just wasn't worth it. Uh, so yeah, so I'll do a gameplay on those three, as well as the new record breaker, Kevin Garnett. Um, but yeah, so we're pretty much a minute in. You guys already heard my verdict. Definitely go for LeBron. He's worth it. Uh, two clutch ability, uh, two three-point clutch ability, one right at the start of the game, and then one right here, as you can see. So it's always around, well, I use this one really, really late. Uh, but it's always around the, you know, if you can get it out in time, it'll be like within 30 seconds still left into the game. Um, lethal combination between him and the Kawhi Leonard, if you are able to get him. We get that nice block at the end of the game. Not sure if that was Anthony Davis, but, you know, this last game he's proven me wrong in doing some defensive work. So, yeah, so that was the video, guys. Um, I hope you enjoy this one once again thank you for subscribing thank you for liking thank you for all the love you guys have been showing on twitter and everything uh and if you guys enjoyed this one make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video